Here we are in episode 16 of the Simple Success Podcast. This is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. When you change you, you change everything. Last week, we talked about charitable remainder trusts. This week, the pod is about your investments. This is of key importance, clearly, on the podcast Simple Success. Our understanding this is a big goal. We are, after all, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. We're focused on your investing. First, investing at all, which is not necessarily the same thing as trading, but also on your rate of investing, which will be both repeated and methodical. That's our gold standard. Oh, and not to mention patiently, carefully, and successfully. Specifically, though, what are your investments? And I'm not looking for individual answers, but rather, what is the general idea? Your investments are anything where you expect to get back more than you put in. You make current contributions and future contributions because you have enough confidence that the thing in which you have invested will demand a higher price, reducing the levels of risk involved. For example, imagine that you have a job. You're not putting money into that job, but you are putting in your time and effort, your labor, and you're valuing that contribution, your contribution, at a dollar amount, like 10 or 15 or $20 US per hour. That's one of your possible investment choices. In the kind I'm focusing on, you are putting in money, but and this is very important, you are not putting in your time and effort. Not much anyway, not unless you're day trading, but that's a different topic. The same is true with any kind of investment objectives or investment strategy. To be fair, we most commonly think of financial investments as putting up a dollar and getting back a dollar, or probably more than a dollar. There are investments that simply return us some sort of added enjoyment for which we are willing to lose money. I think of gambling or the lottery when those things come to mind, getting some enjoyment, some comfort, some rational feeling, some dopamine drip, for which we have decided to be willing to make the necessary exchange. At a very simple level, many of us have had experiences with a savings account. At a very complex level is the charitable remainder trust like I talked about last week. There are historically simple concepts and historically difficult concepts. Somewhere in between the two is taking concepts as they come up and, if they are not already simple, or even if we think they are, make them even simpler. There's a great Steve Jobs story about this we'll discuss sometime. What other kind of investments might you have? Stock comes to mind. Bonds. And we'll get into what bonds are. Mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. Your home, rental real estate that you own and rent for income or for growth. Commercial real estate, cryptocurrency, gold, and it goes on. And those are just the physical options, which are often called securities. Wealth, in general, follows this same pattern and even wealth can exceed our first thoughts. It can certainly be financial, but it doesn't have to be. Wealth is a valid concept in careers, family, personal health, and many other places. The options are, well, technically not endless, but pretty close. It's important to get it firmly implanted in your mind that I'm not just talking about stock, sometimes referred to as equities. I'm not just talking about bonds or bond funds. I'm not just talking about mutual funds. I am talking about those things, but not just those things. I'm not here to prescribe the right answer for you just because it was right for someone else. Having a good balance is important in many areas in order to have a good comfort level, this one included. And we'll get back to that story in just a minute. Hello everyone, this is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please head over to https whack whack anchor dot fm whack simple success. That's one word, simple success, whack, support. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doer level of support, a $4.99 listener level, or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month. That's not much when you compare it to a stockbroker, right? And this is so much more sensible. To leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to https whack whack anchor dot fm whack simple success. Again, one word, simple success whack message. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. Once upon a time, our friend Thomas Lopez Alexander found himself getting advice in a dream world. In this dream world were fantastic things, and he felt as if he were walking on clouds. Well, they weren't ordinary clouds. Seriously, if they were ordinary clouds, they'd have a management fee or something. Oh, they started off light and fluffy, but in the distance, they grew darker. Suddenly, he was worried about his investment decisions. Did he have the air quotes right mix of investments? Did he have safe investments? It was as if a gradient paintbrush had swept underneath the entire scene, turning it from bright and happy into uncertain, almost darkness. Even the most conservative investments carried heavy questions. How could that be answered? 
Did Thomas need an investment advisor to help make sure that his range of investment was right for him? That diversification was more important than investment returns? It could be answered by clearing up that future, by shifting our point of view in order to allow sun to shine. Further down the road, across the landscape, enveloping everyone and everything with hope. Well, that may sound silly, but it's what a good investment plan will do for you. And this is the epiphany that Thomas Lopez Alexander had that day. That, that as he chose the right type of investment for him, he could make the future as comforting, confident, and robust as he believed it should be. Writer James Allen famously said, As a man thinketh, so is he. This is a specific thing for all of us to overcome. We must all do this. And how we overcome this is right after the break. Let's get on with how to overcome this kind of problem. What to do and when and how to do it. Your investments. How do we overcome our concerns? Whether they are valid or not, whether they are based in faith or fear or not, whether they are even investor concerns or not. And I don't mean traditional religious faith. I mean the what do you believe in kind of faith, which can be religious, but also can be many other things. How do we overcome them and get past it? How do we do what we need to do? How can we be sure that our investment portfolios include the kind of selection of investments or investment products that are the right ones for us? How do we know they will help us reach our financial goals? We start small, we work our way up. I've said this before, I'll say it again, and I'll say it again some more. Don't shock the system, start small. It's totally fine to decide in 30 years, we need to have grown by X amount, but it's not fine to push that off down the road because we've made it so big and overwhelming to start with. Start with something small. Let me give you an example. I frame that question, the one in which I need to have accumulated X amount of growth over 30 years by translating it into a different question and looking at it a different way, such as this. To achieve that goal, I need to earn an average return on investment or ROI every year. How do I break that down and make that so it's not a shock to the system? It's not as easy as just saying, I need to start tomorrow investing $1,000 a day for the next 30 years. That's not sustainable. It might sound good to start and it might be good and it might be right, but we're gonna start small so that it also stays feeling good. We're gonna get that same return on investment, but with a very, very small starting number. What I want you to realize is that you are getting exactly the same rate of return, but with a much smaller level of risk. This is something that you can manage comfortably in your mind from day one. Think of it like setting another one of your profiles. Sure, your reward will be small, but risk and reward go hand in hand. There's a balance to be struck. If you want to search for big rewards and get big payments, you will have to first become comfortable with big risk. We'll get to big reward later as soon as you're okay with big risk. We're changing the way we look at things and remember, that's good. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective, coaching happiness. Since a big part of that is your happiness, I'm going to walk down another street, one without those rabbit holes. Sometimes I do that by calling on expert guests, but the most important person I could ever call on is you. In this Simple Success Podcast, as well as in our webinars and masterclasses, we are very, very much going to want to hear your story. Well, to be real, I mean in future episodes of the podcast's webinars and masterclasses. This means you. Your participation is critical to our mutual simple success. It's important to know how you think, what you've thought, what you've tried, and what you've been unsure of trying. As we told you at the beginning, and as you also find in the show notes, we have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know when that happens. Together, we're going to make it great. We're going to do what even we didn't think possible. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. The reason every podcast asks you this is because when you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. This means better rankings, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And that means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Oh, and don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. Remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Right after this, we'll explore some more important details you should know. But for now, use your imagination to help create your story. And to remind you, everyone listening can head to that voice message link in the show notes to record a voice message for a future podcast. Anyway, as usual, we wrap up the story with a thing for you to do. 
your investments. Here's how we're going to do this. Again, the call to action here is to start small. Take action on getting a return on investment for yourself, for your future, for your family, for your charity, or for whatever is important to you. Take action right now. Before the end of the day, the editorial team is watching. If you need to cut out time and put it on your calendar, that's fine. I'll wait. Pause this if you need to before you come back to it. Just have exposure. None of us need financial advisors to help with this, and I can say that because I used to be one. Take action, even if small. Any action. It doesn't matter if you're college age or if you're just around the corner from retirement. Your retirement nest egg is critical to your future choices. That's no lie. But that doesn't mean that you need to be so focused on the results that you end up with, air quotes, analysis paralysis. Any action that you take is a gigantic action as long as it is action. Don't worry, we'll get to diversified investments somewhere in the future. I've told you about StepBet, which is something I use, and that's one way to do it. I know there are other ways. There isn't one and only one right way as far as I'm concerned, except for the way of actually doing it. This is what you're going to have to do when you commit to this full time, but you'll be so glad you did. Next week, we're going to look at another concept, and we'll reveal that concept when it's time, but it's probably going to be about robo-advisors. We're looking at various guests, as well as having you members of the community more involved. Stay tuned for that. But assuming it is robo-advisors, you can feel comfortable knowing that that got picked for me by my topics randomizer. I'm not prepackaging this stuff, but instead making it relevant so we can all, me included, learn how to do this right. We're going to bring that into the world of investing, and it's going to be a great episode. But for now, remember, happy asparagus day. I mean, all you need to do is practice, after which you'll get good. Gracias por escuchar. A la prochaine. For this podcast, the host and audio guy is me, John C. Brandy. My seagull example, and I'll explain that later, Shola Salako, fact checker, Abraham Lincoln, French consultant, Virginia Mitchell, media expert, favorite, Abbasi Ike, psychologist, Sigmund Freud, rabbit hole advisor, Dr. Mark Parrott, sound designer, Guglielmo Marconi, Spanish consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, and videographer, Alfred Hitchcock. Music credit, cute, by Ben Sound from www.freesound.org.